And then go ahead, Barbara, then Christina. Hey, Barbara. Hey there. Thanks for this weekend's class. I think it, I'm still under the influence. <laughs> Um, my question has to do with the cordyceps you recommended for my mom for decreasing kidney function. Mm -hmm. And she wanted me to ask you if it was possibly interfering with her sleep. It shouldn't. Um, like I what's think happening? Issue... She's waking up or not being able to go to sleep or? Both. M mostly having trouble going to sleep. I think it's stress. Um, got some family health news that was pretty upsetting yeah. today. I, I, that she's I would been put sitting it, on for a while. Yeah, I would put it more to that than the cordyceps. Okay. I mean, cordyceps is like strengthening and fortifying, but it's not really stimulating. You know, the 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 only issue that I could say is like sometimes we go to sleep because we're exhausted. And the cordyceps will strengthen the body so you're not as tired at night. And it might be a little harder to fall asleep. I mean, that doesn't happen often, but it can happen. But my guess is it's the stressful news. Mine too. And the fact that, yeah. Yeah. A bunch of stresses in her life. But this one. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's so what, what it is. What can we do to like ease her stress? Like that, that would be my big thing is. You know, maybe a little something simple like lemongrass or tarragon, um, clary sage. I think she might do something internally. She doesn't seem to have the patience to sit and inhale for a long time, but she might a little bit. Do you happen to have kava kava? Oh, I have a little bit. Okay. How about um, lang lang? Do you have some lang lang? I do. I would take a couple of drops of Lang Lang in a day. Okay. I mean, Melissa, if you have it, but that's kind of fancy. Lang Lang is, you know, not expensive and works good. Like it will, it will be calming and be soothing. And the reason why I go to Lang Lang is, um, you know, it slows down the breath. It's very soothing. Um, it eases frustration and, um, it, it's good for calming down the body, especially when pain is present. And here, I wouldn't say there's physical pain that we're concerned about. It's more the concern of the family or, you know, whatever's going on. It's like yeah. that kind of pain. And Ling Ling's still good for that. Like, you know, okay. so um, if not even that, like spikenard or vetiver, you know, whatever you have, just grab something that is in that realm and have her start using that. Okay, thank you yeah. so much. Yeah. And, you know, if she'll not really do the breathing pattern, but she'll take something internal, even a little body tonic, you know, you can even just do a little trial run of making her an ounce of something in Lang Lang or Spike Nard, you know, something like that, and have her just slap it on her chest or, um, you know, something of that nature. That she might do. Yeah. I mean, that's very, very soothing. Thank you. Yeah. Blue healer. Like if you're going to do like topical, blue healer could work. Paracelsus could work. Um, uh, even like the violet healer. I mean, there's this, there's this really obscure oil. We always joke around the office that... Um, there's a stuff called lavender. Lavender actually works. <laughs> I crack up because like that's like just bread and butter essential oils. I hardly talk about it. Like even the notes, like we, we were going through and looking at the daily dose. You know, the things we put out. I have like anethi and, you know, bacopa don't have lavender in there. Okay. Like who does that? Like that just cracks me up. But like even good old fashioned lavender could be good here. She might also diffuse something. I don't know. If... My top choice would be probably lemongrass for a diffuser for her. But um, but a body tonic is probably better. It, but if if she'll do, I mean, you could do all of the above. I, I mean, marjoram could be good in the diffuser. Lemongrass could be good in the diffuser. Um, and if we're talking diffusers for something like that, Sitka or frankincense could be very nice for her as well. 
Ah. Kind of, I kind of like the idea of like a spruce or a fir or Sitka, you know, something like that. I think she'd uh, like that. Okay. Yeah, it's it's very soothing. I remember one time, you know, I hadn't seen my mom for, for a while and she was going through a tough time. And, you know, we were sitting there visiting and I had a bottle of Sitka. And, you know, she was talking about stuff and I put like three or four drops on her wrist. I go, rub it together and inhale it. And, you know, we were... We were sitting on the patio, so we were like looking out at the backyard, and she would she was talking, and then all of a sudden she got quiet, and I looked at her and I go, "Are you okay?" And she goes, uh, "I don't have a thought in my head like that. Whatever that was, it took all the thoughts out of my head, and it was just Sitka, but you know, it's calming, it's soothing, it's fortifying, and you know, like we were talking about before." When we're in difficult times, the it's not even brain fatigue. I mean, I know I'm splitting hairs here, but it's there's a thing called psychasthenia, and it's just the part of the nervous system that processes like and generates like thoughts and things. Um, it gets depleted, and when it gets depleted, it just it's almost like it gets hyperactive. Like it's not hyperactive. Like let's solve this problem. It just starts chattering. And you use some sort of spruce or fir or something like that. Spruces work better for uh, psychasthenia. Um, it it just calms all that down. Like it, it just calms it down. Yeah. Maybe I'll put together a rollerball for her to put on. Yeah, her yeah, some something like that. But, but okay. it could be nice, and she'll gravitate to the thing that brings her relief, and then you can just kind of fine tune it. Like if I give my mom four or five things. She'll use the one that produces a result and she'll drop all the other ones. So then you could just double down on the one. You know what I mean? I do. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> moms are moms. You know what I mean? <laughs> and, you know, people are people too. Like if, if they're not into all this stuff, they're just going to use the thing that brings them up like immediate relief. Like nothing wrong with that. And then 